Going for a visa interview without taking any mocks is like going for a performance without any rehearsal. Well, you don't want to do that. This video is here exactly for this. You can take a mock interview with me and we are also going to analyze your performance at the end of it. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi. I'm a travel and a visa coach and on this channel you'll find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. We have an entire playlist for fall 2024 and in the description box below you'll also see that there are a lot of links and resources to help you prepare for the visa interview. So in case you haven't checked them out yet, pause this video right here to prepare using these resources and then take this mock interview. You can also work one-to-one -one with me. I can help you in filling your DS-160 form, preparing your answers and fine-tuning them. The details of all of this is also right below in the description box. Do check it out. So before we start the mock, I have something exciting to share with you. We all know how expensive it is to study in the US. In fact, the costs just seem to be increasing every year. What if I told you that there's a way to reduce the financial burden? Well, Zolv is here with a scholarship fund of $50,000 for Paul 2024 students. A little bit about Zolv, Zolv is a one-stop platform which is helping students move to the US with a lot of services like education loan, visa, bank account, credit card, SIM card and so much more. And now they are here with a scholarship fund of $50,000 for you. In fact, they are giving away two different scholarships and you can apply for both. The first one is a merit-based scholarship and here they are going to select five scholars who are going to get the scholarship and the highest one is going to be $10,000. And the second one is a need-based scholarship which is meant for students who really need the financial assistance and here they are giving away 25 different scholarships of $1,000 each. So you definitely have a chance to apply for both of these scholarships. The link to do so is right below in the description box. You need to download the Zolve app, register and submit your application for the scholarship. So there are just a few guidelines to keep in mind to make sure that you qualify for the scholarship. Number one, you need to have an admit for fall 2024 and this admit has to be from an accredited US university. It could be for a bachelor's, master's, doctoral or a PhD program. Number two, the duration of your program should be at least 12 months. So 12 months is the minimum duration of the program required for this scholarship. Number three, even if you've already gone to the US, maybe you got your visa early and you've already moved to the US, you can still apply for the scholarship if you are in the fall 2024 intake. Keep in mind that the last date to apply for the scholarship is 31st of August 2024. So before 31st of August 2024, make sure to submit your application. And the lead day, the day the results are going to be announced, that will be on 30th September 2024. So do mark this date on your calendar and on this date, Solve is going to tell you who all other people are going to get this scholarship. So I think it's a great initiative. So make sure that you participate, put in your application. The link for submitting your scholarship is right below in the description. Coming back to our mock, here are a few guidelines to ensure that you get the best out of this video. Sit in a quiet room without anybody, without any distractions. Second, put your phone right in front and record yourself, just like the way I'm doing right now. So this recording will help you assess your performance. Number three, listen to each question carefully. After each question, you're going to hear a beep sound and then you're going to have time to answer. The way we've planned it is that this time is similar to the time that you're going to get in the visa interview. So try to practice wrapping up your answer within this time frame. In case you're not able to complete it and the next question comes up, simply move to the next question. Keep in mind that there might be some questions we don't apply to you. If that is the case, just skip and wait for the next question. So in this way, complete the mock interview and once you're done, skip to the assessment section where we can see your performance. We know that some of you are applying for masters, some of you are applying for bachelors. So we've prepared two different mock interviews. Here are the timestamp for the masters mock and this is the timestamp for the bachelors mock. So select the mock which applies to you. Let's get started and I'll see you on the other side. Good morning. Pass me your I-20 and passport. When did you graduate? How much is your CGPA and why is it less? Yeah. 
Did you have any backlogs in your undergrad? If yes, why? What were the subjects in your undergrad that you found most challenging and how did you overcome it? Can you explain the final year project of your undergrad? How is your undergrad related to the masters that you're going for? Do you have any work experience? If yes, can you explain it? What background do you have related to the course in the US? How is your work experience related to the masters that you're going for? In all the years that you have worked, what was the most difficult situation that you faced and how did you manage it? What do you plan to study in US? What will be your specialization in this course? Why have you chosen the specialization?
Why this course? You seem to have good experience. Why do you want to quit your job and study now? Tell me your first semester subjects. How many universities did you apply to? How did you think of these universities? You have just one admit, why only one admit out of so many universities in the US? Why did you choose this particular university? Why did you choose this course in this university? Who is your sponsor? What is the annual income of your sponsor? You do not seem to have an education loan. Why is that?
How do you plan to repay this loan? What do you plan to do once you finish this course? I not work in US. This field has a lot of scope in US. What are you looking forward to doing in US other than your studies? What do you know about the place in the US that you're going to? Why do you want to study in the US? Why not do this in your home country instead? Why should your visa be approved? I can see that you have been rejected earlier. Can you tell me if anything has changed since your last rejection? You seem to have come with the same university and same course. So what has changed this time? Why should your visa be approved? What will you do if your visa is refused again?
Congratulations, your visa is approved. Now that you finished your mock, skip right ahead to the assessment section right here and this will help you in assessing your performance. This is a mock interview for those of you going for the bachelor's program. So let's get started. Good morning, pass me your I-20 and passport. When did you finish your school? What were the subjects that you studied in your senior secondary? What were the subjects that you really liked? Was there any subject that you did not like? How much did you score in your 12th? This is not a very high percentage, why is it less? Have you taken SAT or IELTS? If yes, what is your score? You seem to have a gap after your 12th standard. What have you done in this gap? What do you plan to study in US? What will be your major?
Can you explain the course curriculum in the US? Can you explain what are the subjects related to your major? What are your first semester subjects? Why do you want to do this bachelors? How many universities did you apply to? How many admits did you get? How did you choose these universities to apply to? You seem to have only one admit. Why only one admit out of so many universities in the US? Why are all the universities that you have applied to in the same state? Why have you chosen this university? Why this course in this university?
Which state is your university located in and what is the nearest airport? How will you go from the airport to the university? Do you know anyone in this university? Who is your sponsor? Can you explain the financials of your sponsor? Do you have an education loan? How do you plan to repay this loan? You seem to have not taken a loan. How will you manage your expenses in the US? What do you plan to do once you finish your bachelor's? Do you plan to do a master's in the US after this course? What kind of job opportunities will you get in India after this bachelor's? The same bachelor's program is available in India as well, so why study in US? Do you plan to work under OPT?
कन्विंस मी टू अप्रूव योर वीजा Do you have any family or siblings in the US? You seem to have rejections before this. What changes have you made this time? What will you do if your visa is rejected again? Congratulations, wow. your visa is approved. So this is the end of your mock interview. Skip to the assessment section and you can see how you performed in this mock. So now that you've taken the mock, tell me how do you feel? How was the interview? Did you feel the interview pressure? Did you feel the nervousness? Did your heart race? Or were you able to smoothly sail through all the questions? You know, every intake we do this video, every intake we have a mock interview video and it's really i'm always curious to know how students feel so do comment below and let me know in the description box how you felt after taking this mock interview i really hope that you recorded yourself while taking the interview because now you'll have to go back watch the recording and assess your performance so to do the assessment we have come up with four different factors and i'm going to explain these factors for you and you have to rate yourself on a scale of one to five so let's get started so the first factor is the content and i feel this is the most important factor so go back to the recording and listen to the answers that you gave. How was the content of these answers? Were they generic sentences? Did it sound prepared? Or were these sentences which anybody could have said? If yes, then the content needs to be tweaked and needs to be customized to your profile. Check your content and see if you used some specific instances and examples from your own life experience. And everything that you said, if it is specific to your background, then you know that your content is good to go. So rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 4 for this. Second is the fluency. So how fluent were you in your speech? Were you fumbling? Were there a lot of R's, M's, pauses in the interview? Or were you smooth and fluent throughout? Rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 5 for this. Keep in mind that the speech doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. It's completely natural and human to have a few pauses and a few fumbles here and there. But if the fumbling is so much that it's affecting the content of your speech, then you need to be mindful of it. Third, pace of speed. And this is such an important factor and I feel it is often overlooked. The pace at which you speak can make or break an interview. Speaking too fast means it sounds prepared and probably the visa officer doesn't even understand what you're saying. On the other hand, speaking too slow would mean that you're not able to communicate everything that you want to to the visa officer. So the pace of speed has to be an ideal, middle-paced, steady speed, which makes your speech sound natural, yet you're able to finish everything that you want to communicate to the visa officer. So check back the recording and see if you were able to complete all the answers or if you are constantly getting interrupted with the next question. And this will tell you how you have to moderate your speed and rate yourself on a scale of one to five for this. And the last but not the least, the eye contact and the confidence. Remember that the US visa interview is a completely interaction based interview. Documents are never really asked. So how you speak, how you look at the visa officer, how you communicate with him is going to be very important. So throughout the interview, were you maintaining eye contact? Were you looking at the camera? 
or were you looking up or down or at your notes? So observe this in the recording and rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 5 for this. So with this assessment, you will have a score for each of the parameters. So your content, your fluency, pace of speed and eye contact. So you have your score out of 5 and this will give you an idea of how well prepared you are for the visa interview. In fact, I am curious to know what your scores are. So do comment below and let me know what your scores are for each of these parameters. This also brings us to the end of this video. I really hope that this, you have found this useful. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. We'll try and get back to you. You can also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shachi.mal. And for an in-depth preparation, do check out all the different ways in which you can work with me. Our flagship program is the seven day program. And this is the more detailed way to prepare for your visa interview. And especially useful if you have a prior rejection. We also have other ways. Uh, there's a core package. There is individual sessions. So details of all the good stuff is right below. Do check it out. And stay tuned. We have more videos coming up. For the month of July, we are going to focus particularly on visa videos for people with a previous rejection. So in case you have a rejection and you're going to give your interview again in the month of July, then do subscribe and stay tuned. Signing off for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.